Aha, shipmates. Are you there? I'm here. I'm back. Move over, fakey. You did a good job, but you know, you know. Ah, uh, me ducks and drinks. Konbanwa, minasan. Genki desu ka? So good to see you. Well, you're feeling good. You're feeling good out there. I gotta start with a bit of shakuhachi. I have to. Chill us all out. Calm us down. Calm me down anyway. Oh man, I'm a bit colder. I did not want to take my hat off. I was breathing Sierra Nevada air through the ether into your hearts. What a beautiful part of the world we've been in. <coughs> a place called Monachil, just 20 minutes from Granada, foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountains. <sighs> Cheers. It's a bit like coming back off tour. I guess it is, really. I'm a bit spaced out. Half of me is still over there. I don't know which half. I'm not impressed with having to put socks on and long trousers and five layers and my woolly hat. And I'm a bit confused. I'm just sort of walking around in a daze. I couldn't work out where the knives and forks went in the dishwasher. Where's the basket -y thing? Oh, there's not one. A little tray. This is the baby. Curved soprano. Such a hassle getting your uh, instruments from A to B when A is one country and B is another country. So. And you're too mean to buy them seats and things. <coughs> so I ended up with this 
wrapped in Simon Dumble's t-shirts and a bit of bubble wrap in a carrier bag. I was bag man. I've been hanging around with my uh, ace buddy. Me and him have been like that most of our lives. Since our very first day at music college. And uh, what a beautiful man he is. And uh, I'm going to introduce him via the wonders of the internet. Along with Mark Creswell. We all met the same year. And there's a piece of mine called Missing You. So we stitched that together, obviously, at times when we were unable to meet in real life. But now we've got the best of both worlds. Yesterday I saw him for real, Mr. Johnny Thurkle. Today I can bring him <laughs> into my Zen Den, into the studio. And Mark Creswell saw him last week down in the southwest.
So I know you want to know all about where I've been, what I've been doing. So we do this thing called Horn Camp out near Granada. It's such a creative and productive time. And uh, working with small groups is a very delicate balance, delicate dynamic, as you can imagine. And we've done three weeks with different students. Mum, I just got so lucky with brilliant, patient, non-judgmental. That's so important, isn't it? What we really, what we really don't want is a competition. But we just got brilliant, trusting people. But now I feel a bit lonely. I've been doing all my practice on my own today, and uh, you know, doing breathing exercises, meditating, playing on your own. <laughs> it's lonely. That's why I like getting together with you guys on a night. We used to start the day chanting all together and playing beautiful chords and building them up. Heartwarming experiences. The shallow panting breath, that's everybody's favourite. Your paws out, your tongues are out. It's actually doing you good. As is. We sometimes start the Sunday night with it big breath don't we? we must get back into doing that I reckon <sighs> oftentimes you know we talk about um, phrasing in other words how you stitch one note to the next and how you put expression into the into your playing on the saxophone or any instrument really, singing, same thing. And uh, every now and again, and this is no coincidence, very often we turn to uh, Smokey Robinson to check out how he sings a line, and then we do our best to copy him. So uh, I was thinking about that today. I thought this would be a bit, a bit of Smokey. A bit of Smokey for our first dance, is that okay? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. <laughs>
Love Smokey Robinson. I once nearly got to play with him. I was uh, I was resident on the Jonathan Ross show for a couple of years. Tonight with Jonathan Ross, four nights a week, one of the best jobs I ever had. And used to have some really really exciting guests on. That's when I, that's where I got to play with James Brown. And uh, Smokey was coming on the show. <clears throat> And quite often we don't know if the... I mean, the guests come to chat to Jonathan. We don't know if they're going to sing or not. So we learnt that song, Tears of a Clown. We were all, fingers crossed, because... And he came in and had a bit of a sore throat. So he didn't sing. We played it anyway at the end of the show. But Smokey didn't join us. I think I've got the memory right. I think I would have remembered if he'd joined in. But it was pretty nice to be in the same room as him. Now, I know that um, you guys enjoy coming on tour with me sometimes and coming out on location <coughs> virtually. We haven't done it for a while, so um, I've got a little slideshow from uh, Granada to tell you about Horn Camp. So. Let me uh, see if I can, oh yeah, I did it right. <coughs> so that's the place we hang out. Johnny Thurkle's place. And it's absolutely wonderful. Kind of built into the rock, beautiful. There we are, look, pretending that we're enjoying ourselves. Um, no day is complete without a lizard sighting. <coughs> And I haven't seen a single one in North Lincolnshire since I got home. Above the house, the scenery is beautiful. It's a nice little climb before breakfast or before dinner. <laughs> what an idiot. Food's not bad. In fact, the food is brilliant. There's a spot a couple of miles up the road from uh, where we stay. And uh, it's just a great point to go for the sunset. And there's our little bar, our little altitude bar. Two of the reprobates. A few more of the reprobates. A few from the top there. That's our illustrious leader, Mr. Johnny Thurkle. Not a bad view, is it? Oh yeah, one of the breathing exercises. The second favourite after the uh, the doggy pant. The candle breath, there is a point to it. it trains our breathing for those super, super quiet notes. The ones that break hearts. Reprobates, all of them. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, I do get them doing Pilates. What's that got to do with saxophone playing? They say. I've got an answer. I've got an answer for everything. And then just around the corner is uh, the gorge Los Cajoras, and the lovely trail. We drag the poor. Students around kicking and screaming. Great scenery. Ah, oh, that's a lovely day. Oh. <laughs> I recognise that voice, Yvonne. There's that idiot again. Oh, Big John. This really is a very interesting walk. A little bit of scrambling. There's the boss. There's Craigie. There's Katie. There's Mad John. There's Mikey. Now he's a sensible lad. He lives out there. He never comes back. Mr. Smug, we call him. 
Ooh, very exciting. I've met a snake. It's I don't know my snakes. John might know. Ooh. Oh, that is yeah, we, we did find out, yeah. Oh. Oh. Snakey meets snakey. Oh. Snakey meets snakey, yeah. <laughs> oh, what a great day that was. There he is, in still life. Some kind of a viper, adder. Uh, it really did make my day. Um, occasionally we pop into Granada, which is just 20 minutes down the road. The Alhambra. Granada sunset. The Alhambra after dark. That's a brilliant visit if you're ever out there. And the Sierra Nevada sunset. And another one. And then I put those slides together for you and then I realised that <laughs> there wasn't a sniff of a saxophone in the whole lot. And it kind of looked as though we don't do much work. But honestly, we do a solid seven or eight hours a day playing, honestly. Look, there you go. Here's us in a hard at it. Yeah, blow on. The Monks of Monochill. Fantastic. Oh. So, oops. How do I get this back? I know. Like that. I've kind of been forgetting which button to press. It's been a month, hasn't it? A month since... Uh, I did one and Fakie had to take over. Thank you very much for supporting him. <laughs> Sally was a bit appalled to see me dressed in somebody else's clothes. But it was all a bit of a misunderstanding. It's my boy William, though, who I talk about sometimes. The one who had the cheek to f follow Mike's example and go and live out in Spain. He came to stay for a couple of days. And these clothes appeared from under his bed, where he'd slept, but he'd gone. And Johnny said, oh, your, your boy left some clothes. So I thought, well, he's always wearing mine. I'm going to wear his for a bit, because mine were a bit dirty by then. Then I found out they weren't his. <laughs> Sorry, Simon. Uh, they fit me quite well. <laughs> uh, I couldn't take my baritone. Well, it would have been very unwise to take my baritone. Because it's hard enough getting uh, normal sized instruments on a plane with a snake. So I missed her. And I want to play her. So I had this idea. You know, occasionally, <laughs> occasionally I do a duet, you know, and let's, let's invite Fakie back. He's not completely redundant. Occasionally we do a duet together where he plays Barry and I play the tenor over the top. I thought, let's try it with two Barrys. So here we go. A stream exclusive, a world premiere. I didn't actually really work anything out for this, but I just made this note that if I start on an F sharp, that might help me uh, go in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, so that's. <laughs> I'm giving away my secrets. Where is he? Oi! Oi, Fakie! It's a funky Barry! Thank <laughs> you. 
We kind of got there, got to the end at the same time. <coughs> it didn't work starting on trying to start on that F shot. <sighs> Enough said. Oh, yes, reunited. Reunited, we are. I missed my tin whistle as well, so we need, we need some tin whistle later.
Fingers are not quite finding the right buttons sometimes. Joe keeps an eye on me, that boy. He said, Are you set up? I said, Yeah, I think so. He said, Are you properly set up? I, said, I think so. He said, I'm coming down the studio. Sorted me out. I had the camera on wonky, wrong setting. There's something else I had wrong as well. My hero, Mr. Joseph Hare. My other hero, Mark Cressel. Thanks, Marky. And I know you were all singing, whether or not you're live chatting, and I'll catch up with your chat later because it's too much if I, you know, rub my head and pat my tummy and read the chat. So I can't do it. I can't do it. But I know you're there, chatting or not. I really do know you're there. I feel you. Even if you weren't, even if I wasn't seeing in the corner of my eye, little live chats come up, I would still know that you're there. And it's a good feeling. And I know we're meeting out in the real world a little bit now, but this has been amazing to be able to get together in Heonji, Snakey's Shed, the Zen Den. And I love hearing from you. I love your comments. And uh, I love it when you give me money. <laughs> but it's absolutely optional. My guest list is massive. You're great folks. Oh, I'm going to play Barry again, because I can, because it's here. So this is a, an old, old snaky favorite from about 64 years ago. It was my Jazz FM hit. But I rarely, if ever, played it on the baritone sax. It's an alto sax tune. And uh, it's a good one to busk along with if you're um, players, which I know a bunch of you are. So down, you can download it from somewhere on um, Snake Davis Stock Rocks. Anyway, here it is. Thank you. 
you're the one. And uh, Johnny Thurkle in the background there, playing in the horn section. Yeah. Loads of fun. Ooh, oh, I know who's waiting on the hard drive. Drinking Spanish beer yesterday. Back to the Ennardale Blonde tonight. Cheers. Another one of my wonderful sparring partners. He's waiting in the wings. Mr. Chris Bannister. Hope we'll be back together in real life soon too. Are you there, Mr. Chris Bannister? Hi, Snake. Hi, everybody. Hi, Chris. This is Into the Mystic. We were born before the wind Also younger than the sun And the bonny boat was one As we sailed into the mystic Hark now, hear the sailors cry Smell the sea and feel the sky Let your soul and spirit fly into the mystic When that fog horn blows We'll be coming home That fog horn blows I want to hear it I don't want to fear it I want to rock your gypsy soul yeah, Just like in the days of old And magnificently we will flow That fog horn blows, we'll be coming home. When that fog horn whistle blows, on to hear it. I don't fear it, I want to rock your gypsy soul. Just like in the days of old And magnificently we will flow into the mystic Here we go one more time Born before the wind Also younger than the sun And that bonny boat was one As we sailed into the mystic As we sailed into the mystic 
Cheers, See you soon. Yes, Mr. Chris Bannister, music.com. Chris Bannister is out on the road an awful lot, doing his own thing, playing a lot of John Denver, and occasionally we get together and do a duo, which is a superly enjoyable time. Thanks, Chris. And thanks to you guys who have been chucking into the tip jar, Liz and Ron and Peter and Stella, John and Joan. Baked beans for the kids. Oh, I know what I want to do. Pick up Baby Sacks again, who survived. Easy jet in a plastic bag covered in Simon's clothes. I was travelling with two of the other campers, Katie and Julie, and they had beautiful sax cases, you know, like sculptured and... And there's me with me flipping plastic bag. And I wonder if they were walking five steps behind me. Style, Snakey, come on. <clears throat> this is such a lovely song. I don't believe in miracles. But I do, and I'm sure you do. <laughs> It's still a lovely song, Colin Blunston, Zombies. I will be accompanied by Birchie and the boys. This is one where I've been able to go back to the original master tapes and uh, recreate the track without me so I can be live in the Zen Den for you. In fact, this is the original tape. You can hear them messing about, getting ready. <laughs> Come on, boys.
It's a great word, miracle, isn't it? I love that word. It's a shame he doesn't believe in them. But luckily we do. I threatened you with the tin whistle. Here it is. I tune her up with a uh, very good pal of mine, Will Mert, which originally appeared on the Snake Bites CD and then uh, again on the live album that we recorded in Durham. It's called In a Whisper.
recorded live at uh, the old town hall in Durham, beautiful venue, by uh, Mr. Phil Udall. Thank you, mate. He sometimes watches in. I guess you better leave it there. That's a good point to stop. Thank you so much, my loyal viewers and my new viewers. There's always a couple of new ones. Welcome. Come back and join me again next Sunday. Same time, same place, same link. Different songs, different tunes, different guests, probably. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know until the Sunday morning. Sometimes I think I know and then I change my mind. But um, thank you for being on board again. So appreciate it. It's a good opportunity to hook up. You good, kind people, kindness. What a great concept. And still glowing in the Horn Camp memories, and we were so lucky we had kind, wonderful, thoughtful people on board. It's what makes Horn Camps work, it's what makes life work. Bringing joy. Big thank you to Mark Cresswell, Johnny Thurkle, Paul Birchall. All the guys in the band. Mr. Chris Bannister. I suppose Fake Davis as well. Thank you, mate. And of course, the wonderful Joe, Technical Wizard, and Sally. Does everything else. And you guys. Superb. Thanks for being here. Have a great week. Ta oh, got some gigs coming up. St. James Church, beautiful, beautiful church in Louth, North Lincolnshire, but not as north as us. With 40 fellas, Louth Male Voice Choir. What a glorious, glorious sound they make. And we're actually having rehearsals for that. Would you believe it? Rehearsals. That's Friday night. So looking forward to that. And then Saturday over in Borough Bridge, in, well, Milby, near Borough Bridge. Coronation Hall, doing the classic sax solos. All the big ones. With uh, Simon on bass, Gareth on vocals, Brian, Mr. Chris Taylor. That'll be good as well. Anyway, all, all the gig details on snakedavis.rocks. Many thanks again. Arigatou gozaimashita. Yoroshiku no Take care. See you next Sunday, if not before. Oh, oh, oh me buttons. Oh. Mark Cressel, did I remember him? Thank you, Marky. <laughs>